tripping over the potential of psychedelics for autism. Greetings friends of AI for Autism. Today we're going to be looking at a rather technical piece here on Spectrum News entitled Tripping Over the Potential of Psychedelics for Autism. Because this piece is quite lengthy and quite technical, I'll be abbreviating some of it and missing out a few chunks just for brevity. So if you're interested, do follow the link at the end of this piece and do look in the description for it and take a look and tell us what you think. So let's begin. This is a piece by Ala Katznelson. Aaron Orsini took the psychedelic drug LSD for the first time when he was 27, about four years after he had been diagnosed with autism. The experience in 2014 transformed his life. During his acid trip, he walked through the woods and encountered another person, and in a similar exchange of greetings, he said he experienced a deep joy in and understanding of human connection that he hadn't previously known. Since then, Orsini has continued to take LSD periodically, as well as another psychedelic substance, psilocybin. Low to moderate doses of LSD, he says, make him capable of more directly feeling and labeling my own emotional states and perceiving the cues relating to the emotional states of others. So he's had some similar profound experience taking other substances. MDMA, commonly called ecstasy or molly, a psychoactive drug that is not generally considered psychedelic, yet shares some similar effects in biochemical changes. So he titles in his he details in his experiences in a book. So Orsini detailed his experiences in a self-published book, Autism on Acid, and year later co-founded the peer support group called the Autistic Psychedelic Community. And despite the enthusiasm, researchers are hesitant about the promise of psychedelics for people who are autistic. The therapeutic potential is far from implausible. Studies in animal models show positive results for MDMA in particular. And psychedelics act primarily on the serotonin system, which is already implicated in autism. So yet researchers don't know how the biological differences underlying the condition, whether in serotonin signaling, brain wiring or other factors, might intersect with the drug's effect. There's a lot of caution, but there's certainly discussion, says Clinton Canal, assistant professor of pharmaceutical science at Mercer University in Atlanta, Georgia. I think the big thing is we need a lot more research. To date, little work has directly investigated the role these substances could play in easing autism traits, yet research on psychedelics as therapy for autism has a documented history. About a dozen small studies conducted from the late 1950s to the 1970s tested psychedelic compounds, mainly LSD, psilocybin and synthetic analogue of LSD, in autistic children and adolescents. In several cases, children experienced intense panic, fear, characteristics of a so-called bad trip, but on the whole the studies hinted that many children benefited from the drugs, at least in the short term, showing gains in emotional response in it, for instance. There was definitely a notable and durable drop in social anxiety scores, Danforth, who considered one of the studies, says, one participant didn't respond to the drug, she noted, adding that early estimates suggest that about 10% of people don't. Seven participants contacted her after the study, one as recently as last year just to tell her how positive the experience on the drug had been. This doesn't work for everybody, but when it does, it can be quite profound, she says. To understand whether and how psychedelic compounds might be used to treat autism, researchers will have to delineate the underlying bi biology more carefully. Gobi speculates, is one of the professors at the University of McGill University in Montreal, Canada, and pin down which of the many serotonin receptors are especially important to the condition. And many conceptual arguments remain about how psychedelic compounds should be used in autistic people and how they should be tested. For example, researchers are debating whether the psychedelic experience these compounds engender is central to their therapeutic value. Okay, so that was quite a piece, and I'm sorry if I had to skip through it and some of it seemed incoherent, but do check out the article. We've discussed CBD beforehand, but this takes it to another level, so tell us what you think. Thanks for watching and remember, love, life and AI.